good morning, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organizers of the event, the Lithuanian Embassy in France uh, and Enterprise Lithuania, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude for finding the time to attend today's webinar. The event is organized in, in partnership with Palmier Barroa Associé, procurement platform Asha Public, a networking club of entrepreneurs connecting pro people. My name is Daiva Kirkilaita Shetkuti, and I'm commercial attaché at Lithuanian Embassy in France. One of the most important work I do every day is helping Lithuanian businesses to find their way into French market. Thought the share of Lithuanian goods exported to France grows every year. We can call France a market on unexploited opportunities and potential is huge. Even more opportunities open up than public tenders are taken into account. So today we are going to explore the way to participate in public tenders announced by French institutions. French governments contracting and purchasing uh, gains a new significance in relation with the recovery plan announced in September last year. French government presented a 100 billion stimulus package to re-energize the French economy that suffers from COVID-19 health crisis as most of the economies it is a two-year plan that should enable France to return to its pre-COVID-19 economic status. The French government uh, uh, plans to fund a number of projects in various sectors to increase the country's competitiveness and to promote innovation. This is a great opportunity for Lithuanian companies to participate in projects that have subcontracting and also partnership opportunities. Today, we will talk how to participate in public procurement in France, and more specifically, how to prepare an application and tender documents, and how to submit an application and tender documents to the Asha Public platform. Um, af after the presentation, we will be um, having the questions and answers session. You can send us questions during the webinar online in the Facebook comments chapter, and we will answer them after uh, the presentations. Uh, before inviting our guest, I would like to give you a brief overview regarding the recovery plan France uh, Relance uh, that I already have mentioned to you. Uh, so we will start with presentation. I would like now to see slides. Uh, so, yes. Uh, in order to address the economic uh, consequences of COVID-19, on 3rd uh, September 2020, the French government set out its France Relance Recovery Plan. This is, as I mentioned, a massive 100 billion investment plan representing the equivalent of the one third of the annual state budget with 40 billion provided by the European Commission in order to support businesses, rethink production models, transform infrastructure and invest in training. This plan will further bolster its competitiveness and help support its openness to foreign investors. Uh, the plan has three main teams, ecology, competitiveness, and cohesion. Uh, concerning the ecology, France has an ambitious objective to become Europe's first major decarbonized economy by achieving carbon neutrality by 2050, to reduce the impact of France's econ economic activity on the environment. Uh, recovery plan will significantly speed up the ecological transition and provide with 30 billion. Competitiveness. France has chosen to upgrade its production facilities, invest heavily in uh, future technologies, including also green technologies, reduce production taxes and increase support for research, training and development of skills. Uh, and existing national expertise. Uh, the France Relance plan has allocated 
40, uh, 34 billion to this. Cohesion. In 2030, France will need a well-trained workforce and France Relance is thus investing heavily, 36 billion in France's greatest assets, its people. Uh, we go to next slide. Uh, I will go deeper in two teams, as I believe they are more pertinent for Lithuanian businesses, so it be ecology and competitiveness. Uh, France will support um, the thermal renovation of buildings and decarbonization of industry, green hydrogen, clean transport and transformation of agricultural sector. Developing green hydrogen. To be at the cutting cage of, of renewable hydrogen production and low carbon technologies, France will support projects led by companies across the country in order to encourage the emergence of French hydrogen solutions. It will set up a mechanism to support uh, hydrogen produced by water electrolysis and will create an important project of common European interest to support industrialization in France and develop demonstrators. Improving everyday mobility, the recovery plan will mobilize uh, 1.2 billion to develop the use of bicycles and public transport by improving existing services, support for the rail sector, improving the quality of rail network will help increase the supply of trains for different purposes. The goal is to increase the supply in the less densely populated areas and better link them to urban areas to spread up the work to improve their existence at railway experience uh, at the railway stations, especially for reduced mobility persons and to develop the transport of goods in order to closely serve companies, logistic platforms, and ports under good economic condition. Biodiversity, uh, fighting against land take and agriculture transition, France will increase its food sovereignty to meet uh, the increased demand for local produce by shifting its agriculture model towards more resilient system. This transformation will help restore biodiversity to territories and help find against land take. We move to competitiveness, restoring industrial uh, production to ensure its economic and technological independence. France is targeting five strate strategic sectors for its investment. Health, inputs essential to industry, items entering production processes, also electronics, the agro-food industry, industrial 5G applications, and uh, certainly production activities will be reallocated to France, but it could be also reallocated to European countries uh, as Lithuania. Investing in future technologies. With the investment for the future program, the state will support innovation uh, and particularly investment in future technologies, including digital technologies, medical and health industry research, carbon-free energies, responsible agriculture and food sovereignty, sustainable transport and mobility, and cultural and creative industries. The goal is to make France the best country in Europe for research and entrepreneurship. Um, also, lower production taxes. Production taxes inhibit the competitiveness of, of French companies in France. They account for uh, for 3.2% of GDP uh, in 2018, uh, compared to an average 1.6 across the European Union. So France will reduce, uh, planning to reduce this tax as well. So we go to the next slide. Um, this week, uh, uh, on Tuesday, French government announced um, uh, 30 new winning projects in the industry reallocation and will benefit that will benefit from this recovery fund. So I just give you an example um, how it's presented. 
uh, in the next slide, I will I gave you all the useful links. We go back to the previous slide. So uh, you could see the name of the companies that uh, uh, have this project now, projects now. And uh, uh, in the links you will find, uh, you will find all the description uh, about this project. So you can easily contact uh, French companies with our help or by yourself if the project is of your interest. So we go to next slide. And here I provided to the next, provided all the useful links about uh, this recovery plan. Also, you have um, all the list of different projects uh, that are nominated uh, uh, by French government and uh, in the different sectors. So you will find in, in these links. Uh, I also put the link to, to the platform that we will presenting today, to the uh, lawyer's uh, office uh, that is preparing the, the tender, tender documents that could help for you to prepare, also other links. So uh, now uh, I would like to invite uh, Madame Virginie Palmier and Monsieur Sébastien Palmier. Uh, attorneys at uh, Palmier Barreau Associé. They will provide useful advice on how to prepare an application and tender documents, how to make yourself known to public bias in France. Uh, attorney Palmier Barreau Associé is legal cabinet specializes in public procurement, thus it can offer services to Lithuanian firms and help prepare to participate in the public purchase. Please, Monsieur Palmier, uh, Madame Palmier, the floor is yours. Thanks, Daiva. So, good morning, everybody, and thanks for attending this webinar. So, I'm just near uh, Maître Palmier, uh, which is not very fluent in English, and he was not at ease to speak to a large audience. So, today I will be his voice and his translator, uh, but uh, he will be able to, to answer your question at the end uh, of, the, of the presentation. So, I'm going to share my, my screen. So is it okay on your side? Do you see my screen? Yeah? So today, um, as explained at Dahiva, we are going to, to explain uh, not in all details, but we will give you all the keys to respond to public procurement in France. So just um, to keep in mind that you will receive this presentation. Uh, so we will have all this information, all the details. And here I'm going to, to go just uh, uh, straight to the point and to be very, uh, uh, to do a summary of all the information. So how to uh, give you the keys to, to respond to public procurement. So we just have three uh, main parts. Um, how can you be informed of the launch of a public procurement? How can you assess whether we can answer and how to determine what to answer? So here you've got some, some different information. Uh, it will depend on the amount of the markets. So you have two cases. Um, if you are interested in markets below 90,000 euros, for example, um, the main information is that you have to make yourself known in advance to the contracting authority um, in order to be included in the list of companies to be contracted. So you can create an account on this platform and subscribe to automatic alerts that you will receive on your, on your email box. Then, if you are interested in markets above 90,000 euros, um, you can also create an account on this platform and subscribe to Automatic Alerts too. And uh, you can consult uh, the national website of the official bulletin of announcement of public procurement. It is called BOAMT, 
in French. And here again, you can create an account and subscribe to automatic alerts that you received on, on your mailbox. On va le voir après. And we will go uh, in details about the different information. Then, how can you assess whether you can answer? First of all, you have to read the advertising notice. So it is called the AAPC in French. Um, and it's the first idea of the contracting authorities need. It's uh, a kind of publicity advertising and you will have a, a first information. Resume. Yes, it's a summary. So you have to watch the object of the contract. Does your activity correspond to the object of the lot? Uh, sometimes there is only one and sometimes there are 10 lots. Uh, watch the date and time limit for submitting tenders. So do you have time to make your answer? The place of performance. So does the market area correspond to the catchment area? And watch the execution time and the period of start of the contract. Is it uh, my schedule allows me to intervene on the date required by the department? Then um, you have to identify yourself on the platform and download the file to tell you are interested in the market. So you have to read the rules of the application of the consultation. It states about the object of the contract, the place of performance, the duration of the contract, the time limits for execution, the criteria for judging tenders, and the methods of reply, paper or electronic. It depends on the on the on the way. So you had to read the whole dossier if you decide to respond to the market to make sure you will have all the information needed uh, to, to, to answer. The second part, and it is very important, you have to establish a public procurement watch. I mean in order to identify the contracts you wish to apply, it is essential to set up a watch to detect targeted public tender notices and award notices. The inscription is very easy. Yes, the inscription is very easy and it allows you to, to have all the information and to follow which uh, entities, which companies uh, will have uh, will have uh, uh, some uh, tenders for you. That's an example. Here it is. Um, it's a, some example of, about the main websites uh, you can watch uh, for an easier uh, search and more efficient search. So the main website is uh, ashapublic.com. So here um, you have all the information, all the consultation, and you can also receive email alerts uh, from this website. Et alors, ce site est intéressant parce que les entreprises peuvent publier des informations là-dessus. Yes, so it's a very interesting website because all the companies can uh, publish uh, some advertising, some information. Et, et c'est un des sites les plus consultés par les and it's And it's one of the most uh, uh, websites which is consulted by all the companies in French. So it's a very, very important website to, to look for. Then uh, you can also uh, consult uh, PLES. Uh, so it's a platform of purchases from the state. Uh, so it's uh, from the, the state and you have uh, also many, many information about all the companies. And one other, so I mentioned it before, it's the VOAMP. Uh, it's a website with a national monitoring perimeter. It's gratuit. And it is free. So it's ideal for searching award notices. Here, uh, we would like to, to focus your attention on um, some advice. Uh, it's very important to target your markets. Um, when you configure your monitoring tool, uh, you have to target your markets as effectively as possible. And uh, you have to specify the geographical area you are monitoring. Yes, so in French you have CPV, it's a kind of code uh, that corresponds to the market, uh, so it's what a, it is written of, of course, but above all describing your activity by relevant keywords and by code. 
ça c'est les deux, les deux supports. Here again, uh, you've got the official publication supports. So here it's for European Union, for example, uh, it's a Jew and it's Ted Europa supplement. So here you've got the link and you also have the BOAMP. Um, très important parce que c'est ici qu'on va trouver tous les marchés supérieurs à 90 000 euros. Ok, so here it's very important because on these platforms, on these websites, you will find all the markets which has above 90 000 euros. L'inscription est gratuite. Inscription is free. Et euh, les, toutes les entreprises reçoivent automatiquement euh, des, des, des alertes tous les jours. Ok, and all the companies receive um, all the day the alerts and uh, information uh, about the companies who, who have tenders. Then the second very important point is to analyze the market you want to answer. So, if you want to apply for a public contract, um, it is for you an, in, an investment of time. So before you start, it is very important to ask yourself the right questions, to take the time to analyze precisely what will be expected from the service provider, from the client, and the implications for your company. So to do so, you have to consult the DCE. It's a file of the consultation of companies where we will have all the information needed in your, in your application and your offer, we will see uh, later on. So uh, DCE uh, is made of a um, set of documents necessary for the consultation of candidates. Um, and you will find all the uh, useful elements for the preparation of the application and your offer. Um, the most important documents in this list is the RC. Uh, so here you've got all the rules of the game of competing uh, bidding. Uh, and you also have the criteria um, of the judgment of your offer, um, what is expected from, from the purchaser. And then you've got the CCTP. So it's a technical closest booklet. Uh, that fixes the special technical conditions for the execution of the services. Ce document qui détermine si vraiment intéressant so raconte. before answering uh, the offer, you will have to read very carefully uh, these two documents where you will have all the information and all the conditions uh, to uh, answer or not uh, the tender. So you have to ask the right questions. First of all, uh, what is the market location? So where is the market located? Uh, does it say execution require travel to the site? So you will have to include it in the, in the price, for example. What is the client's need? Uh, so for example, does my company have the technical, human and financial potential to meet the need and take on the contract at the time of its execution? What are the market requirements? Are certain standards or certifications mandatory to meet? Then uh, what are the contract award criteria uh, for awarding the contract? Are they advantageous in relation to my offer? And what are the strengths of my company? And then what is the response time? Do I have enough time to put together my answer? So you will have to be methodical because uh, to save time on market analysis, draw up a standard sheet uh, that you fill in, in for each market, this in uh, the main elements to enable you to position yourself. So here we put um, the different stages of your analysis. So you will have to know what type of services you have to uh, offer. What is the response time? Uh, you will have to do in-depth analysis of the services required and definition of the response strategy. Abandonment uh, is not, if not adequate, between my company's capabilities and the market. 
And after this analysis phase, if you feel you can participate in the market, you will need to define the form in which to apply in order to have the best chance of being selected by the company. So uh, you can also uh, present yourself on your own. So you need to have all the skills required by the market and to have uh, them all at the right level. But you can also join forces to answer. Et là, on rentre dans la stratégie. Yes. So here you you go uh, and you enter in the strategy you will adapt la stratégie de la réponse. to answer this offer. Mm -hmm. So if you do not have all the skills required by the market, but you know it's very important for you to answer, um, if you are not at the required level and if you do not have the time, uh, human and material resources available to respond on your own, you can join forces with other candidates, other lawyers, other uh, people in your uh, market. Um, so you can subcontracting part of the market. It can be interesting for you when the market, for example, requires the skills uh, that you like. And you can also uh, presenting you as a subcontractor. It is an option when the company, for example, has partial competence in the market or if the market is too large to be accessible to it. Et alors là, je, si je peux me permettre d'intervenir, ouais. oui. euh, c'est intéressant en termes de stratégie pour deux raisons. So it's interesting for you uh, in terms of strategy for two points. La première raison, c'est lorsqu'on intervient comme sous-traitant, when uh, you are answering as a subcontractor, c'est de répondre avec des entreprises déjà françaises. Yeah, it's uh, so in our case, it's important to answer uh, with other French uh, companies. Et comme ça, on se fait connaître. Uh, like this, uh, we can also uh, be uh, known by the uh, purchaser. Et la collectivité aussi va prendre connaissance de l'existence du sous-traitant. And the collectivity will also have the information about the subcontractor. Voilà. Yeah. So when you join forces to answer, um, so in some cases, uh, you can presenting yourself uh, as a kind of joint venture, so if it's a GME, co-treatance in French, um, and the main idea is to wish to maintain a contractual relationship with the client. Donc on est en contact direct. So you have a direct contact with the client. Uh, pas, pas you, are, you are not a subcontractor, you are a day-to-day -day contact with the client. Ça, tu es en contact voilà. avec le client. Okay. Là, il y a différentes formes de groupe. So you have three types of grouping in France. Uh, so you got the TMES. It's a kind of um, grouping of the members. Um, so all the members are responsible and therefore financially committed for the entire market. The second grouping is the GMEC, uh, where each of the members including the agent, is solely responsible for its share of the market. And the third one is uh, a kind of grouping, uh, is a momentary uh, grouping of uh, companies. Um, and there is several liability of the agent, um, where the agent is, of course, responsible and therefore financially committed on the entire market. So, là, à chaque fois, c'est aussi, il faut réfléchir, c'est une stratégie également. Okay, so here it's a kind of strategy, and you also have to 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 uh, to think about the best grouping to choose uh, to answer the tender. So. so once uh, all these elements are okay in your mind, uh, if you think you are okay, ready to answer, you also have to prepare and to present your application. So in order uh, to call it for tenders to be of quality, um, you will need to convince on two levels. So first of all, demonstrate that you have the required legal, technical and financial capacities. So here it will be the application part. Et c'est la carte d'identité de l'entreprise, qui on est. Yes, it's a kind of um, identity card of your company. 
you will have all the information about your organization process, the team, um, the market, um, also, but we will go uh, deeply after. And the second point is to demonstrate that you are able to respond precisely to the need as described in the consultation documents. And here it corresponds to the offer part. Okay. So the candidacy file enables the public purchaser to assess whether a company is in compliance with the law. And if you have sufficient technical and financial capacity to perform the service provided on the market. For each contract, for each public procurement, a number of administrative documents are required uh, by the public purchaser in the consultation regulations. So it's why uh, consulting all the previously documents is very important. To be sure, you will not um, uh, forget something uh, to answer. Here you've got a summary table, uh, so um, don't go uh, in deep uh, cell uh, because it's a, it's a huge table. But um, what you have to keep in mind it's this step in this table, uh, it's all the documents you have to attach in your application. First of all, so you will have to be uh, completed DC1 and DC2, sorry. Uh, so DC1 is a kind of letter of application and authorization um, of the agent by its co-contractors. So it's a kind of, uh, um, yes, it's a kind of formulaire. Uh, so you will have to fill in uh, all the information, but you can also download on the website you have here where to get the documents. And DC2, sorry, it's a candidate's declaration. So here you will have uh, your turnover, presentation of the candidates with the qualifications and so on. Yes, turnover. And you will have to join a series of documents. So a certificate of civil and professional insurance. So uh, you will have to ask your insurance company to, to give you this. You can join a company presentation leaflet with your organization, staff, material resources, references. So it's a, a leaflet you will have to, to produce by yourself. And the third one, which is important, it's um, the certification. So ISO, AFNR certification, if requested by uh, the client. Alors, deux points importants. So two points. Uh, Présenter comme ça, ça a l'air compliqué. Yes. Um, if we list this like this, it must be a bit uh, complex, complex for you to Ex answer. Et, et un peu uh, exhaustif. An très, très exhaustive one, but it's not but the case. En réalité, c'est pas compliqué. In reality, it's not complicated because uh, you have the formulary, so you just have to fill in some cells, some information. Pour deux raisons, parce qu'une fois qu'on a fait un dossier de candidature, après on a pris le, le pli yes. et c'est facile. So, when you have one, uh, you have also all the information and you can also repeat it uh, for the other answers. So, the first one will be the most longer, the most uh, difficult for you, but after it will be easier, easier, easier and so on. Et ensuite, une, si on répond euh, sur, euh, dans la même année, avec la même collectivité, on n'a pas à reproduire ces éléments-là. Ok, so uh, during the year, if you answer other tenders uh, for the same uh, client, same purchaser, you don't have to fill in again all the documents because you will already received it. So you just have to do once. Uh, so it's not so uh, time-consuming for you. Et je rajouterai un troisième point. Yes, and Maître Palmier will uh, add one other point. Il existe aujourd'hui uh, une solution très intéressante. Uh, so there is a very interesting solution for you. Uh, ça s'appelle le coffre-fort électronique. Oh, uh, it's a kind of electronic um, coffre-fort. I don't know in English. <laughs> uh, 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 un, 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 un fichier sécurisé. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a secured file. Yeah. Euh, quand on participe à des marchés publics, euh, l'entreprise 
peut euh, donner l'adresse électronique où se trouvent tous ces documents. Ah, ok. So, uh, when answering a tender, um, the company can also give you all the codes, all the files, uh, when you can download it and then answer uh, and complete and uh, join it to, to your offer. Donc, ça peut être intéressant de mettre ce, ce lien sur votre site internet, comme ça la collectivité vous prend connaissance de votre activité et de votre existence. Ok, so uh, you can also put your uh, um, email address uh, where the collectivity, the company can uh, consult and give you all this information uh, on this uh, address. Donc c'est un moyen de bien se faire connaître. Ok, and just to finish, so you will have to provide uh, attestation on, of fiscal and social regularity um, and what is not always required, it's the CABIS extract and RIB, so it's all the bank details uh, at your bank. So, um, if you want to submit a complete file uh, and adapt your presentation to the purpose of the contract, it's uh, very important to keep in mind that incomplete or incorrectly completed administrative documents may result in the non-admissibility of the application. So please complete them carefully and attach all the requested documents. Mm, one other point to optimize the presentation of your application is to put your company in the spotlight. So as mentioned before, You will have to, to do a general presentation of your structure um, about the, the characteristic of your company, their history, activity, know-how, organization. Uh, if you have labels and certification, uh, it's uh, very, very important. Attach them and explain your approach. Uh, they testify to the quality of your services and products. Highlight your teams, uh, the professionalism of your teams by presenting mini CVs, resume, uh, particularly in the areas of expertise relating to the market in question. And you can also submit your references. Uh, so you can ask to include customer references in your application. Um, and it's also a demonstration to the client that you have been able to satisfy similar requests. Then uh, you can also give um, your customers a voice uh, with reference letters to demonstrate your know-how and reliability. So you can put it at the end of the, of the candidacy. Um, you can give an overview of your company's public image. Uh, if, you are, um, if you have press articles, interviews or video reports, you can also include it, include it uh, in your candidacy. Uh, you may highlight your environmental approach, uh, I mean uh, public procurement regulations, uh, increasingly low criteria linked to the quality of offers. Uh, and for smaller companies, for example, which are more flexible and responsive, uh, this may be an opportunity to differentiate yourself. Et dernier point, yeah. c'est toujours intéressant, là aussi c'est gratuit, yeah. euh, sur une zone géographique limitée de faire un article de presse pour dire, par exemple, qu'une entreprise lituanienne, lituanienne spécialisée dans un secteur souhaite euh, remporter des marchés publics euh, ou se présente aux réponses aux marchés publics à un endroit donné. Ok, so uh, you can also add um, an article uh, about Lituanian uh, companies, about specific uh, points, specific markets. Uh, it is free and it's also um, a plus um, a reference for you uh, to add in your, in your candidacy. And at the end, uh, you have to demonstrate your social commitments. Uh, so here it's all the policy where uh, people are at the heart of the concerts. So then um, we go to the offer. So it's very important to optimize the presentation of it. It's the second part. So here we saw the candidacy and then we are going to know how to present uh, your offer in the most efficient way. So your offer um, allow you to convince the buyer Uh, that your answer, your response is, the, is one of the most closely uh, correspond to his or her needs and expectation. 
So your offer consists of uh, a number of administrative documents and you will have to answer through a technical brief and a price quotation. So here you've got different pieces uh, that uh, compose your offer. So here you've got, first of all, the date of commitments. Uh, so this document must be completed and signed at the time of award. Then you've got the subcontracting declaration, if it's the case. If it's not the case, you don't have it. And then you will have the unique price list. So it's called BPU in French and the global flat rate price. Là, c'est comme au niveau de la candidature au début, c'est un peu compliqué. Ensuite, yeah. ça fait tout seul. Yeah. At the beginning, it will be a bit uh, difficult for you, but then it will be recurrent and it will be uh, easier and easier after uh, you answer different offers. And then, uh, it's the least, uh, but not the less important, it's the technical memory. So, to be drawn up, um, there is no standard plan you will have to uh, respond according to a specification included in the DCA, CCAP and CCTP to personalize and adapt your response to their needs. But what uh, it's important again uh, is to propose variants and quantify options. So if the public purchaser allows it, you can propose one or more variants to answers by proposing alternatives to the basic solution described in the specification uh, that allow you to stand out from your competitors. So if we focus now uh, in on the technical memory. So here it's an answer uh, that correspond to the buyer's need and expectation. Uh, it's a well-structured technical brief presentation. And uh, in this memory, uh, it is sometimes imposed by the public purchaser in the consultation regulation. And you can also have a kind of framework. Um, sometimes it's only on two, three or five pages. So you have to sum up all the information in uh, maximum 10 pages. But in general, you have the same memory plan to answer at each offer. So you have general data, reminder of the problem, our understanding of their needs. Then you have a description and methodology. So you will have to do uh, a summary of all the information included in your memory plan uh, to follow all these um, stages. And then you will have to present uh, your organization and human resources. You can also uh, include the organization chart of the mission, the people who will be dedicated to this mission. Um, and if you have specialists in a, a kind of a domain or a market. Um, here we give you some advice uh, to stand out in your technical memory. So make sure you emphasize all the advantages and special features of your offer. Um, be proactive while respecting the framework required. So strictly follow the instruction given uh, in the consultation rules, the CCAP and CCTP. Uh, it is very, very important. And you can also attach samples and mock-ups, for example, to your files. It depends on the context of competition uh, and uh, otherwise more multimedia support with photos, videos and, and so on. Here, it's a key point uh, because uh, the price will have more or less impact on the award decision. Sometimes you can be uh, very organized, your uh, memory is very technique, very good, but you are more expensive, your price offer is not in line uh, with the market and more, more, more expensive than competitors. So it will have also an impact on the award decision. Pour éviter les, les frais, 
on peut très bien dire, par exemple, que si on est attributaire du contrat, on va créer une agence en France. Oui, j'ai compris. Pour euh, éviter les déplacements, on peut créer une agence. Ah, OK. So, if you want to, to avoid some... Um, some uh, je ne peux pas mon mot. Um, uh, some travels, yeah, of course. You can also uh, ask... Um, Indiquer qu'on créera une agence. Yeah, you can also uh, say uh, that you will create an agency uh, in, the, in the region or in the... Uh, si, on a, si on gagne le marché. Yeah, if you gain the offer, of course. So here... Juste pour terminer. To, to finish, um, we give you the essentials, the keys, uh, the main elements of answering uh, public procurements. So here you've got eight stages, and it's to understand all the essentials to contract um, uh, fully uh, this offer. So you have sta eight stages. The first one is the consultation, as I mentioned before. Then you have the response of your company. Then you analyze all the information, all the criteria, all the evaluation criteria uh, that will uh, be uh, very important. Then you will have the choice. So it is determined on the basis of the analysis of the offers. Alors, ce qui est intéressant à ce niveau-là, c'est que si on n'est pas retenu, on peut demander à la collectivité de nous indiquer très précisément pourquoi. Yeah. And if you are not retained, for example, you can ask the company, the purchaser, why you were not retained. Because sometimes it can give you some, some text, some, some information that you missed in your offer, and then you can put in the, at the next time. Voilà. Then, c est, c est juste stage five, dans le... you have got the attestation. Stage six, information for those who are not selected. So the contracting authority must inform and explain to the other tenderers why they are, were not selected. On stage seven, you've got the notification. So the contracting authority uh, shall inform the tenderer. Um, and at stage eight, the execution of the contract. Après, so, pour terminer, pour ceux qui sont intéressés, on peut yeah. très bien imaginer un guide euh, très précis pour expliquer euh, rubrique par rubrique comment répondre à ce public. OK, so for those who, who are interested, uh, we can also prepare a kind of booklet about all the process, about all the main uh, stages, formulary. Uh, the formulary, the, all the documents to fill in uh, to help you to answer the first uh, tenders. So here it's a, it was a resume, but um, Maître Palmier and all uh, the lawyers in the companies, uh, some of them are speak English, so they will answer you properly, uh, can answer all your questions. Voilà. Thanks for it. attention. On a 50 minutes, donc c'est Marie qui a respecté notre... Uh, thank you, Monsieur Palmier and Madame Palmier. Uh, for this thorough information and guidance, how to prepare and participate in, in the tender. Uh, I think participants will find the tips and main elements uh, very, very much important to prepare the winning proposal. So next, I would like to invite uh, uh, Madame Pascaline Gauchin to introduce Sacha Public Platform, which covers the entire public procurement value chain from preparation of tenders, uh, documents uh, to legal compliance and property value storage uh, to training uh, and industry news. So, Madame Gaujan, the floor is yours. Good morning. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor to, to present uh, today our, our company, ashapublic.com. Uh, uh, I'm the CEO of, uh, of ashapublic.com. Uh, I will uh, first present uh, quickly our company, and uh, then I will let uh, Mr. Chantaluxe Lifou, who is in charge of business development for our company, uh, to present our platform, and he will uh, explain how to participate and how to reply uh, to, um, to tenders on our platform. I will uh, share my, my screen. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a 
problem to share it. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't share my, my screen. I don't know why it was okay uh, before. Okay, thank you. I think that you can now sh uh, see my, my screen. Um, some words about ashapublic.com. We are a French company created in 2003. Uh, we are a software editor in public procurement. And uh, today we are 40 employees based in Paris. We have three main uh, activities. The first one and the most important one is uh, our activity of software editor, and we only develop softwares for public buyers. We also have two other uh, services. The first one is uh, information for public buyers, and uh, we have a website uh, dedicated to public procurement. Uh, information, news, laws, uh, and we also have uh, an activity of training, training for public buyers and also for the private sector who want to discover public procurement and also uh, who want to uh, to know the way to, to participate to, uh, to public tenders. Um, in a, uh, just a, another screen uh, regarding our tool, the first one is our tool on, on the left for uh, public buyers. It's our platform. And the second one uh, on the right is a platform for uh, public, for private sector, uh, for companies who want to, to reply on our platform. I will let uh, Chantal Luxet uh, Lifoum. Uh, presents uh, the second um, part of uh, of the platform, and uh, he will present you in detail how to to reply uh, to public uh, tenders on the platform. Thank you. Thank you, Pascaline. Um, good morning, la ladies and gentlemen. Um, so um, I'm going to, to to present you the the platform. So I'm going to present you five steps easy to follow for responding to a public procurement. So the first one is uh, how to search uh, for a tender uh, on our platform. Uh, the second say register your company because um, uh, to be registered is uh, mandatory to answer uh, of the public uh, procurement. So you, you will access a form in which you indicate uh, your contact information. Uh, thereafter, you'll be also able to manage uh, account for the other members of your company. The third one is to prepare your computer. Uh, just verify that your computer is well configured. If you already have an electronic signature certificate, because uh, some uh, French, uh, when you're responding on the public procurement, uh, you may need uh, a, a signature certificate to sign all your document. The fourth is to prepare your bid by downloading all the elements of the public procurement and finally to reply to the tender. Uh, so uh, I will present you uh, in live uh, how to, to, to reply to a tender. So as you know, Asha Public is one of, of the most uh, public procurement platform in France. So it allows organizations, suppliers to consult and respond the tender issue by the public administration. So Asha Public, uh, platform is a software as a service. So, hi. Uh
uh, high speed internet access is recommended uh, to allow file transfers and easy navigation between the various parts of the application. So I'm going to move now uh, on live to the uh, platform. Now we can see, you can see all the platform. So here is the home page of the platform. At the uh, at the headers here, you have the flag. We we'll change your, the language here. We have it's in French. I'm going to change it to in English. All right. You have here tools where you can find documentation, user guides. The support here is, is uh, to contact our uh, customer services. If you uh, meet some uh, problems, you can email them or, or call them. And some software uh, tools that will help you, you know, to have uh, viewers, some words viewers, Excel viewers, zip, zip uh, files to, to, co to compress. I'm going back to the home page. Here you have on the left hand side menu, you find the search engine, which allows you here the quick search. So I'm going to click on the quick search. You can hear, if you know the name of the organization to find some uh, for example, if you know the, the name, just write it down here and then click on search. Uh, the contract type, if it's supply services, building works. And here, where the geographically uh, you, want, you want to find uh, your tenders. So all the regions here in France, or the states here and the department here. Now the quick, uh, the advanced search. So the advanced search, you can also in the advanced search here, write it down, find with the organization, but also the different consultation type. Here you have different type of, uh, of tenders. So it's all written in, in French in this type because uh, appel d'offres will be uh, different ty several type of uh, public procurement in France. That means open procedure, restricted procedure, negotiated procedure. It could have uh, competitive dialogues. You can find it too by keywords, tender reference and CPV code. So the CPV code is the common procurement vocabulary code. So it's based on uh, nine digits code uh, the CPV associated with the wording that describe the type of supply, works, or services forming the subject of the contract. And also you have, when you click on all tenders, you will find all the tenders that we have that's running on, on our platform. Here for the example on, on the, plat the test platform, so I have only three, but you may have a lot more. And here, the essential data, um, you may know that the French government has an open data portal uh, through which public information is published and shared freely by the public institution and entity. So for businesses, it's contribute to the greater transparency of government action in public procurement. So you can find here for any organization, uh, past data of public procurement. The, he, the, the, aim, uh, to help, the aim is to help suppliers like you to find information about the contract awarded. So here, for example, if you click in search, you have all data that uh, uh, the awarded contract, the awarded contract just click here and you find all the data of the awarded contract. So I'm going back to the home page.
and then click on one tender that I want, I want to, to submit. Just choose one. Once you choose, you enter into a tender, you will find all the information about the, the and details about the tender. So the procedure type, which organization, here, here the, the, the tender reference. If there is inv invitation notice that was published on the BUMP or TED or JU, and the details of the tender. So the description, the purpose of the tender, here is the maintenance of the wall, uh, the green wall. Uh, here is where the execution place and the deadline of the bid submission. Very important. Here we have, we know that it's the 9th of March. That's the, the end of the bid submission. You will have also the details about allotment if this single contract, if it is a, a different lot. On the left hand side, you have here all the document about the about the, the tender. So this pop-up gives you an information about the registra registration. You can download procurement document anonymously. Therefore, you will not be uh, contacted in case of any change of the document. So uh, we recommend you to create an account uh, that keeps you informed of uh, any modification. So just for the example, I'm not, uh, I'm going to not log in just to show you how to download all the document. So here is all the company tenders folders that you can download. You can have a full download here or just a partial download. Just click on full download. And then you can see that all the document, you can open it here and it will download it directly from on your uh, computer. And here's all the document for the public tender. So let's move. Once you downloaded all the document, you can here reply to the tender. Just the easy way, just click on the reply. And then automatically we, we ask you if you want to create an account or if you already have an account on the platform. So the first, if you don't have an account, you have to register an account here. Here, there's all the different form of registration for the lithium company. So you will choose a foreign company does not have uh, a separate number and just validate here. So here, the national identifier could be your, the, your dance number. Just, uh, for example, I just put this one, your country. Let's see Lithuania here. And you validate. So here is the form of the registration with your company data, the name of your company, the address, the zip code, the town, the phone. So all, all the stars in red as mandatory, that's needed. The area of intervention, activity sectors, and legal information. So once you uh, have uh, registered your account, you validate it, and then you will receive an email with your ID and uh, uh, temp uh, password which allows you after that uh, uh, to access to the platform. So I'm going back to the platform and then I'm going to reply to a tender. So I have already my uh, username and my password and just log in. Once you log, 
uh, the information uh, you entered is displayed after reading through and checking uh, your, your contract details. Just click on validate button to access to access to the tender proposal interface. So I'm just confirm. And then automatically, once you have confirmed the interface load, the Java icon appears on the screen. So Java, I'm going to give you some information about Java. And all the system requirements. So Asha Public, as you know, is a software as a service. So you need internet access, but your workstation uh, need some technical requirement. So all the web browser are compatible. So you need Internet Explorer, Edge, um, Mozilla, Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, Safari, but you need also Java uh, version 1.8 must be installed because Java is needed to compress and encrypt your file um, because Asha Public Platform is the highest level of security for transaction through end-to-end -end encryption. So that's why we need the Java. I'm going back to the platform after the requirement. And then you can open it. So here the pop up, execute Java. And then you have here the different stage of the process that you must follow uh, in order by clicking on the next button. You can quit anytime and then resume your proposal at later stage uh, by clicking uh, exit. So the first step when you're creating the bid, you're asked to name your tender proposal so that you can find it again more easily. So I'm going to put a, a, a name here. And then in the second step, you have the, we call it the envelope section. Uh, so this stage lets you to define the envelope to which you would like to reply here and all the document that you offer. So just add all the document. So we would search on your computer, company application, the document that you wanted to submit and see all the document appears right away. So all file formats are accepted, except executable files. So just be sure that your bid is not too large. So we recommend less than one gigabyte, not too much because it takes long time to you uh, to, uh, to upload it. And also for the, for the buyers, for the, for the public buyers, a long time also to download it. After you just submit, click it next. The platform asks you if you want to sign uh, also uh, all your documents because uh, on the platform you can sign in with a, a certificate signature. So you can sign it. It depends on what it's in document uh, rule standards they ask you to, to sign or not. And then just click. So right now we can see that uh, the platform is encrypting all the document, compressing it, and then transmitting. Here you have the trading room closed at uh, here 26 days an estimated size of the bid you can see here. So you can, uh, so it take time because um, we, we have to compress it, uh, check if there's any uh, virus on it too. 
and it send it uh, to the buyer. Once it's completed, you can save it here and store the proof of your bid. So you can store it in your computer here in the directory, just choose it, validate. Uh, the platform also asks you if you want a backup copy, sending with a USB, uh, for example, key or, or other kind of paper. If you say yes or no, we say no and just validate. Then here, once it's done, now your bid is now stored in digital platform and a confirmation email has been sent to you. So once the bid is completed, uh, you have the proof of the submission. You can download it here in PDF report. I just open it here. So you can have here the proof, the proposal summary with all the general information about the organization. You bid with the submission duration, you know, 48 seconds. Your bid was received by the deadline and all the document here of your bid. The digital project is now complete. So it's very easy and very simple just to reply it. So if you have any question to, uh, to ask to the, to the public buyer, you can also use uh, this interface on the platform and ask a question. On your left-hand side, you have question and answer. If you want to ask a question, just click. And it's kind of like a, a chat. I have a question here. And attach also a file if you if you want and just validate. Once you validate, you have a, the, the, the question is sent directly by the public buyer and uh, he will receive a notice, an email, uh, tell them that you have a question and, uh, and they, then they can uh, on their side reply to the, your question directly by the platform. So as we can see, we try to make very easy and very simple uh, for all the company uh, because this takes only four or five steps. So you can download it. You download all the document. You just click to reply. You select all the document that you want uh, for your bid and then send it. And then when you can return here to the home page. Here on the headers here on my proposal, you have all the history of the exchange, exchange with the public. So here we can see that there is uh, on progress that uh, you send it. You will see here up. So the proper summary. <clears throat> the history and the history of the exchange. And here to manage your account. So that's very easy. So that's why a lot of uh, today uh, all the French companies are using this digital platform just to answer easily uh, to the public procurement. So thank you for your attention. So if you have any question, just feel free to ask. Uh, I just want to show you that if you need to test the, your, your technical uh, requirement, just click on the, the button here and automatically the platform will uh, uh, will check if your computer uh, has all the requirement using uh, uh, to to uh, for for you for your tender. Sorry. So there's four tests 
if you have Java, uh, if you have the permission to write on your machine, a machine, and if you have a certificate. So let me show you, you just uh, hhpublic.com websites where you can find uh, the public procurement. Here you are a company. And if you want to find or to reply to a different public procurement, just click on here, reply to the procurement. And here you will find all the search engine that I show you and all tenders that, that are uh, here on the platform. Right now we have 2,188 uh, tenders on the Asha Public platform. And here with the deadline. Today, for example, at 12, with the different organization. Thank you for your attention. So if you have any question, just feel free. Uh, I will, it would be a pleasure for me to, to answer it. Uh, thank you very much, Monsieur Kleifung, uh, Madame Goja. Um, as we see that your platform is users friendly, and uh, it's uh, not difficult uh, to use it. And there are many interesting functions uh, uh, to discover. Uh, I think for the companies, if they, try, if they try once after, it would be very easy to, to use it and, uh, and to participate in tenders. So uh, before uh, moving uh, to the questions, I would encourage uh, the participants to continue to ask your questions in the uh, on Facebook message, uh, message and, uh, and uh, we will uh, deliver your questions to, uh, to presenters. So I will start maybe with the uh, one question. Um, you showed us the questions and answers to the uh, procurement proposal or to the procurement, uh, ongoing procurement. So my question is, um, if you put the question, is it visible to all participants, uh, question and answer, or it works differently? Uh, we don't hear you. Here, here, here I am. Uh, yes, it's a good question. Uh, first, your question is sent to the public buyer first. So if the, if the question um, is uh, like um, uh, needed for other, uh, for the other company that need to know, the buyer can answer it and send it to all the, the candidates. But if there is special question, then uh, it can reply only to the to you. It depends on what what is the question. Okay. And how long uh, is it the time limit for the buyer to answer? Is it reg there are some regulations or not? There, there is some regulation because you can ask a question only by a, a time limit. And during this time limit, the buyer has to answer you. But after the time limit that the tender rules, the, the, the buyer said on the, in the tender rules, after this time, he will not reply to you. It will depend on what's in the document, the document rules of the tender. Okay. So I will move now to the questions that uh, uh, were raised by our participants. Uh, so the first question is uh, if the presentation slides will be available after webinar. So I think the answer is yes. We will uh, transmit all your presentations to, to participants upon the request. Uh, another question we have from uh, uh, Mr. Thomas Burbulis. He represents uh, uh, numismatic company. 
that uh, uh, minting coins. So they, their question is, uh, they would be interesting to know what are their potential in French market. Who could answer this question? <laughs> this one I could not. Uh, the potential of the... Uh, because we, we, we um, the French buyer, we have all kind of uh, public procurement. So uh, we are not, uh, you know, looking into it, what kind of uh, different uh, public procurement there is. So uh, I'm not be able right now to answer this question about the potential of uh, uh, on his uh, field. <laughs> okay, so we will check and we will answer later to the yeah. participants. But I think it's, I believe that they, they ask if it is not restricted only for French market, um, uh, this kind of activity, this kind of business. So we will, uh, we will try to find this answer to the question of uh, Thomas. Um, another question we have from uh, uh, the life science company. And uh, the company is producing custom-made implants. And um, so they ask if in medical field, they can participate in tenders only in the national language, only in French, or English is also possible. And uh, can they participate alone or they need to go via distributors in France? So I don't know if it is uh, Mr. Klaifung or, 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 or Maître Palmier could answer, could answer yeah. to that question. Yeah, maybe, maybe Maître Palmier can, yeah. can give you the best answer. Uh, because I, I, I didn't, um, I forgot to, to mention it at the beginning, but uh, Cabinet Palmier is also a, um, a lawyer company uh, specialized in public procurement. And Maître Palmier is also a specialist in public law. So uh, they are very at ease with all the procurement, uh, um, all the public procurement, and they answer every day to many, many uh, offers. So Donc la, la première réponse est le français obligatoire. Yes, the French is mandatory. So it's the first thing if you want to answer on the French market. Et la deuxième, et la réponse à la deuxième question, c'est oui, ils peuvent répondre seuls. Même s'ils sont implantés en Lituanie. Ok. And you can also uh, answer uh, alone, even if you are uh, implanted in Lituania. So it's not a problem for, for us. Après, c'est juste une question stratégique. It's just a strategic point. It's uh, on your choice. Uh, so now another question is about the platform. So are the invitation notice and documents from TED and EU supply? or others um, on your platform or just French tenders? Maybe. They, on, the, on the Ashapu platform, there's, uh, there's only French uh, uh, public procurement. Okay. Uh, all, the, all the TEDs, it depends because TEDs, is the all the European procurement? Uh, Ted, c'est que pour les années publicité. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. only the announcement. Uh, but the Ashapuric platform uh, is on it for the for the French uh, collectivity and government. Ted and BOMP, c'est que les avis. Yeah, T Ted and uh, BOMP uh, are only advice, um, not advice, um, um, publicity. Um, uh, Advertising uh, information, yeah, and it's free, so they can they can consult, and it's free for for them. Uh, okay, uh, maybe just another question. So I, I think uh, uh, so. If I understand, the tender has to be written in French language. Yeah. So is your office could help? To, uh, to prepare uh, the tender from English to French? Is it, is it possible to cooperate for, for Lithuanian companies with your, uh, with your office to, to prepare the tenders in French? Uh, 
Yes, it's possible, of course. Okay. Uh, another maybe question that I would like to ask, um, how long uh, the companies give to answer to the tender? Is it also some regulation, the minimum uh, term to announce the tender or the maximum term? And uh, it depends on complexity of project or uh, just more information about these terms. How many time the Lithuanian companies will have to prepare the offer? In general, it's 30, 30 days. Uh, it depends on the complexity of the of the tender. So Ça, le it's a minimum uh, 30 days. Okay. So I don't see other questions. Uh, Can I add something? Uh, you could add something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you have 30 days to, to, to reply to a tender, but um, when uh, it is recommend uh, to avoid submitting a bid at the last minute using yeah. the form. So uh, to uh, try to carry out a test to ensure that you are completely familiar with how the electronic submission process. So we recommend you to submit your application at least 24 hours before the deadline. Yeah. Uh, the reason for this is in case of any problem, uh, Asha Public Customer Services can help you. So you can contact our customer services by mail or phone from 8 to 6 p.m. on working day. So just be prepared and just don't uh, uh, last minute. Yes, you're right. And and when you have to, to reply, you also have a day and an hour. So it's it's noon. Uh, don't answer at 11.55. Uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. It's better to anticipate uh, one or two days before the, the time limit. So I have another, another question. Are the documents like fiscal reports, for example, has to be in French? Tous to les documents fiscaux. No, no, it's not, it's not a uh, It's better to, to translate it in French. Un, dire, with, a, soit, soit, with a stamp. Yeah, it has to be translated and uh, it needs to be uh, certificated, uh, confirmed, you know, with a certification. Yeah. So I believe uh, the translation from official translation bureau yeah. is certified uh, yeah. by notary, it could be sufficient. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oui. yeah, oh, yeah, of course. So I don't see other questions. So I would thank <laughs> you all uh, for partic participating in today's webinar. Uh, we hope you have heard useful advice for your businesses. I also uh, take this opportunity to say that you can contact uh, Lithuanian Embassy in France. We, could, we can help you with information. Also, um, uh, for you can contact uh, our participants and, uh, and to ask uh, for information, for help. And uh, I believe that you could also cooperate with, uh, um, with office of uh, Monsieur and Madame Palmier. Um, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, to participants, I would like to, to say, don't be afraid of French market of French, French public tenders. <laughs> I think we have all the competences to, to participate in these projects. And I think this is a big opportunity for, for us, for Lithuanian business to start uh, this path. And, uh, and I believe that we could achieve uh, good results in France, which will give also us a bigger visibility for future and for future cooperation with French businesses. So I really encourage you to take this initiative and to start to participate in, in public tenders. So in addition, I would like uh, to uh, 
to ask participants to follow our Lithuanian Embassy in France and Enterprise Lithuanians on social media and our webpage for future webinars. And thank you once again. And I wish to everyone to stay healthy in this. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Deva. Merci. Merci.